We all have a problem, all of us. We will die. It could be annoying. For me, it's annoying. But that's why uh, some people are trained now to fight the death. Let's kill the death. Some tech guru on Silicon Valley in the States, uh, some people in, uh, in China are just trying to kill the death because dying is a technical problem. That's why uh, technology, how it's going on now, it's absolutely amazing. It's mind-blowing. But I have one question. Should we do anything even if we can? That's the main point, because we can do almost everything right now. We can do technical stuff, like giving uh, the knowledge uh, to computer. I will teach computer, and computer now in artificial intelligence are able to do amazing stuff. I'm giving senses to computer, giving them the ability to see, to smell, uh, to speak. It's amazing. They can look way better than we are. We can uh, teach computer, meaning it's boring to have a lot of uh, work as engineer. So we are teaching computer to learn by themselves. It means that computers are now able by themselves to learn any kind of studies, uh, to play uh, Go game uh, like you saw last year, to win against the worldwide champion on Go game. Uh, and a few days ago, an article in Nature was explaining that a new algorithm was able to learn by itself with no lines of code uh, on a white paper at the beginning uh, how to play Go game. I don't know for you, but I'm very bad in Go game. Go game is very, very special. Go game is not mathematic. Go game is intuition. It means you need to be able, as a computer, to feel intuition. And that's something very, very important to understand. It means that now we are able, with computing, to do anything. We are able in biology, in medicine, to create life. We are able to develop new babies in China, in States, with new genetics inside. It means that by 20 years, 25 years, you will be able to choose what kind of baby you want, what kind of uh, uh, feelings the baby you want, uh, what kind of skills. Uh, it's changing a lot of things. It's changing a lot of things because right now, we have powers of God. If you are looking at Platon, I don't know if you are reading a lot, but if you are reading all these uh, authors uh, from Greek history, from Chinese history, even here in your country you have many writers who did amazing and wrote amazing things. We are now having uh, powers of God. We are creating life, we are changing the life, we are able uh, to give life to machine and to decide any kind of things. The big problem is the fact that when you have big power, you need to balance it. And you need to balance it how? With responsibilities. Powers needs responsibilities. If you don't have responsibilities, you will use your power not only for the good, but potentially also for the bad. So who are we? Humans. Look at this baby. So cute. That's a very crazy animal. Because human people, uh, babies, uh, are the only one animal on Earth when they are born uh, to don't be autonomous. They are not able to live by themselves the next few years. For a few months, they are just crying, shitting, eating, and smiling in between. That's crazy, because other animals are not like that. I was impressed by reading uh, Francis uh, Scott Fitzgerald, 
This novel, you know it is very, very famous because you saw this movie on it. The thematic is very interesting. Why? Because the thematic back to this movie is to explain basically that you need to take care of your parents, grandparents, as they were taking care of you when you were born. But when you are looking at us, what we are doing, we are unfortunately in our civilization, and it's a shame, we are not taking care of our parents when they are getting old. We are just putting them in houses and to wait for them to die because it's so annoying to take care of people at the end of their life, unfortunately, who are eating, cheating, and not being independent. And this novel uh, is giving you a part of who we are. Because when you are looking at dolphins, right at the moment when dolphins are giving birth, the babies are able to swim right after. When you are looking at uh, these horses, after a few hours, they are able to walk. For us as humans, uh, in the base case, is 18 months. I don't know how long I need it, but I think me that was more around two years. I was late. That's also humans. Who is cheating in terms of animal? Who is not treating well? Where is living? If you are looking at animals, you don't have one who is not treating well the environment where he's living. We are everywhere. We are also killing it for pleasure, sports. We are treating animals sometimes like nobody is able to treat. It's red because of blood. We are human. We are doing that. I'm so ashamed to be sapiens sometimes. Humans are also not treating well. Humans, look at this baby. We have, for the moment on Earth, officially 7.5 billion people. Half of these people are not eating well. And one billion more are not officials. Meaning we are more around 8 billion and half. And half of the earth is not eating well. And at the same time, the other half is putting in garbage more than 50% of what we are producing. That's humans. That's humans. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's giving me the impression that humans are kind of not very mature. Maturity is very important, and even if we are 12,000 uh, years old, uh, we are still fighting like kinder in, in, like babies in kindergartens. You know, you don't have the same color than me. You don't have the same stress. We are fighting. We are fighting for a line on maps, and it's clearly not on the level of what is happening. Because what is happening is something way more global, way more important. Technology is changing everything in our life. And what we will see, you will see it by 20 years. This new world is not new, this kind of thing I'm giving to you just, you know, because I'm here in front of you. That's something that is happening. And to face that, we need absolutely to be in a position to think. What will happen when we will have this artificial intelligence and robotics being able to give this kind of things? Is it cheating? I don't know, in fact. But cheating, thinking about that, this kind of situation depends on only one thing. What you think is good or what you think is bad. That means that you are putting the line between good and bad depending on you. But what you are thinking about the line between good and bad is not the same that what Chinese people are thinking, American ones, European ones, or Russian ones. Who am I to impose the line between good and bad 
to Chinese who are there to impose me these things. But what we are facing is global. We are facing technologies that mean that by 50 years, you will have a new race. You will have babies in China, in states, in many countries that will be done in laboratories. You will choose what kind of skill you want for your baby. You will choose any kind of stuff like that. And even if some countries are not aware for that, it doesn't mean it will not happen. It means that what will you answer to your baby, to your child uh, tomorrow when he will come to you to tell you, Mom, why am I less clever than my little friend in the kindergarten who was done inside a laboratory? It means that we will have two races of sapiens. The one, augmented one by technology or genetics, and us, the normal one. What we are facing is global. But the main point and the big problematic is the fact that we are running in technology to give so many incredible improvements. But that's only technical improvement. We need absolutely to be in a position to teach machines tomorrow to develop their own consciousness. They're online between what is good and what is bad and not giving civilization like China or other ones the right to teach the technology what is good or what is bad. We need to develop the consciousness and the consciousness is way more important than anything else because technology needs ethic that it's important to aware people about what is happening, where we are going, to give them the choice. I'm not judging, I'm just giving you information and asking questions about ethics. Ethics, it's a lot of things. But I deeply think that we need all of us to be in this process of hummingbird. Being this little bird going deep inside the forest, when you have this fire, to put some water. Even if you are small, you did a part of your job. Will the future be crazy? For sure. Will the future be good? It depends on you. You are the key for tomorrow because you are humans. For the good and for the bad, humans are pleasure and excess. But humans are good also if you are giving them what is good. We need deeply to dream. We need absolutely to think bigger and to be able to answer what is happening globally. Because it's the first time of our life as sapiens and humans that we are facing big, big stuff arriving by 30, 40 years. And we will need to answer that globally as human and not as civilization. We are humans. Should we do everything, even if we can? I deeply think that the answer is by ethic and teaching machines and technology to don't trust human, to don't follow this line in between both, to develop by themselves consciousness who could globally give good for you, for me, and for machines. Thank you.